Hey guys, I'm Harlow, and welcome to something a little bit different. Today I decided to build a thing in The Sims 4. So, ta-da! Here's me doing that. I started out with no idea what I wanted to build, I just knew I wanted to build a thing. So, here's me just fiddling around with the shape until I got something I liked. Uh, it doesn't stay this way, it changes a bit. It, it gets a little bit shorter and longer as well. I don't, I don't know. I'm messing with the windows. I know I wanted it to be something like a little bit more classy because I usually do really modern things and I wanted to have something not modern. It gives me fixing the shape a bit. There we go. I have a door. I decided it was going to be a bedroom. I think at first I thought, oh, well, this looks like it could be a really good, I don't know, dining room or or study, but I decided I wanted it to be a bedroom, and I was going to make it a very fancy, pretty bedroom. I do have a lot of mods installed, as you can probably see from my list of beds here. I'm not really sure what I have installed. My mods folder is just an enormous mess. Uh, most of these you can kind of see who made them in the name of the item itself, so if you see something you like, pause the video and, you know, do that. Or ask me, I guess, because I could go through and try to figure it out for you. Ugh. I have like a million different beds here. I, didn't, I, I, I knew that I really didn't want to do something too modern, so none of those really seem to work. my bedside tables. None, none of the furniture in this room so far stays. <laughs> it, it stays in the same place, but it's different. This doesn't stay either. I don't keep that. This does. It ends up being a very, very classy room. And very girly, very feminine. I like it. I wasn't exactly sure the colors I wanted to go for at first. Uh, I thought, okay, we'll just do like super, super white furniture and then color everywhere else. Uh, I was gonna do white and pink and blue. That didn't, that didn't turn out. It, it's just pink everywhere. It's great. There's me doing white and pink and blue. Doesn't stay that way. Lots of recolored curtains. <laughs> Those curtains don't stay. Pretty much nothing in the beginning of this video stays. It was really difficult finding curtains that fit for this weird window. I don't remember what I ended up using. I know that they were super, super pink. Oh, it's these guys in pink. That's what I used. I'm seeing the colors again. At this point, I was still, oh, I want it to be just plain white, but. No, there was nothing for that chair that was plain white, so this is when I added the gold. Those beds don't recolor properly, because because they're not real. They're modded. It took me forever to pick the bed frame. I ended up using one of the pink ones. Everything is pink in this room. It's very pink. And you can see the beginnings of the pink here. <laughs> it also took me forever to find a mirror, because they were all too, a little bit too high up on the wall, above the table there. They, they just didn't really look right that high up, because you'd be sitting down and just 
only work out at this little vanity thing that I was trying to create here. I ended up using this really expensive one and just moving it up on the wall a little bit. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for paintings. I wasn't really- I, I seriously came into this having no idea what I wanted to do. But then I found these guys and, oh, these are cute. These are pretty. They're, they're nice. So I ended up using those two. I really like what I did with this wall here. It ended up looking really cool. Well, it was, it was, it's not cool, it's like, just the most floaty fairy of a wall you'll ever see. I knew I wanted to have a fancy clock somewhere, but there aren't really any nice you know, uh, alarm clocks in The Sims 4, so I couldn't put in just like a cute little old-fashioned one, you know, with little bells and everything. So I thought maybe I would do that little one on the wall, but that looked weird. So I decided to move the tables in and put that nice big grandfather clock there. And to fill up the corner on the other side, it's my nice, my nice flower thing. Ah. Then that bit more yellow. This room ends up being very, very pink, very, very white, with just a little bit of yellow here and there. A little bit of gold. It's, it's nice. Nice big mirror on the wall there. And the wall is just completely uneven. So I use a smaller door and move the... yeah. starting to do the wallpaper, and this took me a while. Because I wasn't really sure what colors I wanted to wall- I'm not- I'm still not happy with the colors of the walls, I don't think. But it's kind of the best I could come up with for this room. Everything else is white, and there's just that one pink wall. I ended up changing the color of that wall a few times. I tried to get it to match the curtains. Those curtains don't really match anything, honestly. It was a it was a bit difficult to get like a uniform peachy pink theme thing going on throughout this room. Nice, very expensive wood flooring. I really like that wood I like the wood floorings in this game. They look very nice. That rug turned out a lot pinker than I thought it would be, so I just used this one. It doesn't really come in any other nice pinks, so it doesn't doesn't quite match, but I stick with it. And now I'm gonna do some little decorating here. Oh no, I found I, I find the eh, pillows. Ah, oh, those look cute. I like the pillows. I almost used the dark ones, but I thought it looked nicer with the light ones. They looked more fluffy. And I realized that this corner looked a little bit, eh, a little boring. So I spent some time trying to pick a nice, uh, sit thing? What are they called? Love seat. That one's a love seat. Let's see, what's the long one that I used called? A sofa! It says sofa. Yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> I used this sofa. It's nice, it's cute. I like it. Spend a million years trying to get all the beauty supplies on this table. I end up doing some easy cheaty stuff with move objects. Because I just couldn't get anything quite where I wanted it. It, t it took me a while. This freaking soap thing gave me some trouble. <laughs> to move and replace the chair there. The chair, the table, the little vanity thing there, quite a few times. But there we go, we got it. I did the same over here, because this seemed in a weird spot. 
It's just weird. I wanted it a little bit close to the wall. But, there we go. There we go. Pretty little watering can there. Weird thing to have on your dresser, but I thought that was cute. Some nice stuff on the wall there. And that's and that's pretty much the room. I don't think I added anything else. Just kept it like this. I still don't like that far wall. It, I don't like it. I might go back and change it, but for now, here's what the room looks like. I like the way it turned out. I, except for that one wall with the big mirror on it. Very pink, very girly. I like it. I would like this to be my room. And there we go. 